Today we're talking everything touts the tactical air launched decoy. A glider with radar enhancing design allowing it to play pretend as a fighter sized object on radar screens. All you got to do is approach a hostile SAM site, chuck a few touts their way, and engage with other weapons whilst they're distracted. Employment is pretty much point and shoot, in the Hornet you select the Mark 82P, or in the Tomcat you ask Jester for towels, alternatively select them from the weapon wheel as the Rio yourself. Fly up to altitude and target area and then you press the weapons release button when you're happy. Towels have no guidance, but they've got a very specific flight profile, on launch they maintain heading and altitude, until they slow down to approximately 360 knots ground speed at which point they steadily drop to maintain that speed until about 3200 feet, where they plateau and maintain altitude to avoid terrain until they stall out and then start descending once more. Now this is important because 1. They have no active terrain avoidance, so if your target area has large hills or is itself at altitude, ensure your decoy will have sufficient airspeed and altitude to make it to the target. 2. As they fly at roughly 360 knots of ground speed, or roughly 5 miles a minute, it's easy to estimate their arrival. Towels launched at 30 miles, for example, will take roughly 5 minutes to overfly the target. This is a perfect reference for coordinating with other aircraft as part of a larger package. Unfortunately, we don't have any in-range or release queuing for the weapon at all, so it's all guesswork. I did some testing and built up a chart to give you a general idea of their ranges. These were conducted without wind, default atmospheric conditions, and all altitudes reference above mean sea level, and were launched from a Hornet. So as you can see, the higher we are, the greater the range, not terribly surprising. It caps out at about 70 miles of range from 45,000 feet, once you take in considerations for potential hills and target elevation, which gives them a pretty healthy reach. Tomcats can also carry towels, and of course, would be able to eke out just a little bit extra performance in range, but the Tomcat can only carry 4, versus the Hornet which can carry 3 per station, up to 12 if you went all in. And speaking of loadouts, my personal favourite is the Double Ugly with 3 towels and 2 harms or harpoons, and for dead work between 3 and 6 towels and 4 bombs when working with other aircraft carrying harms. Now you might not wish to be a decoy fairy, so let's look into getting the AI doing this job for us. In the mission editor, select the Hornet or Tomcat, and set their task to ground attack and load it up with towels. At the time of recording, the AI seed roll cannot deploy towels, lacking the advanced waypoint actions required to do so, and the ground attack roll doesn't reliably use harms, so mixing towels with dumb weapons or only carrying towels would be preferable for the moment. Talking with Vigor Dynamics, there are plans in motion to add a decoy command directly in the editor to resolve this at some point. We'll place the aircraft down and set up the flight plan, ensure the aircraft has ample time to reach your desired launch altitude with the prior waypoints. Create the final waypoint at the location you wish to deploy the towels. We'll go to the advanced waypoint actions, select perform task, and action, bombing. We'll pick weapon type as guided and set release quantity and group attack as desired. Check the altitude above and set this to the release altitude. Now we'll place the triangle over our target. Once our aircraft reaches this waypoint, they're going to turn to face the target triangle and release their towels. With all that said, let's talk using and fighting against towels. In reality, towels are used to both saturate hostile radar screens with false contacts, and bait integrated SAM defense networks into switching on their engagement radars for targeting by harms, without putting any real aircraft at risk. Default AI SAM site operators are pretty dumb sadly, they will only attack threats in priority of who's got into range first, so if you chuck a bunch of towels in, they're going to engage them and kill them all first before trying to engage the harms, even if the harm is closer. The second aspect is if you're attacking a multi-layered SAM site, say an SA-10 with SA-15 tour protection in close, the towels will be ignored by the SA-15 until they're in range, so the faster harms will of course potentially get intercepted by the SA-15, before the towels can reach them to distract them. You could also use towels to simply distract a site, allowing you to drop dumb bombs on them, but this is a risky operation, as there may be other means of self-defense, such as AA or infrared threats, and you're only going to have a limited time window to take out their weapons and radars before all the attention turns to you. Now you're probably wondering, are they useful in air-to-air -air engagements? Sadly, the AI will 100% ignore towels and always lock a real target, no matter how convincing you are. 
This is something Eagle Dynamics are working to improve, allowing AI aircraft to engage touts. But of course, against a human, you might have some success right now. So how do you turn a real jet from a decoy? Obviously, they won't fool someone visually with a TGP, and contrails are a dead giveaway to which one is the jet, so avoid contrailing altitudes. At greater ranges, your opponent has more time to observe, so you're going to need to pretend to be a towered by maintaining 360 ground speed, heading, and a slow descent rate. Otherwise, you will reveal yourself against the towers that you've spread out. Don't forget that switching off your radar can help make you even more convincing. This may not matter, however, if you can cloud yourself in towers where even the opponent's radar computer might start struggling to pick out a specific target. Think about what the enemy expects to see. Send a pair of towels on a heading towards a target area, not a swarm, unless your goal is saturating a SAM site. Alternatively, you could try dropping altitude rapidly after a launch to disappear off the radar, hoping that your disappearance goes unnoticed whilst you sneak up on the opponents from below. In close to visual range, you have the advantage of reaction time, people have to make quick decisions, and won't necessarily have time to check, meaning something tagged up by ACM or snapshots are just as likely to be made at your decoy as they are at you. Towns serve as a means to soak up missiles, but also to make your opponents second guess what they're seeing, giving them a higher workload, so take advantage of the extra protection offered. Towns will show up on everybody's radar, friendlies included, and of course don't respond to IFF, so there is a risk of secondhand friendly fire or confusion. Aircraft equipped with non-cooperative target recognition can also distinguish towels from jets with an STT check, in some circumstances. And as a final note, at present the Datalink AWACS network is too perfect, and will not show towels on their link, only tagging real aircraft with a hostile or friendly symbol, they will never fall for a towed or transmitted across the network. This gives you one extra last way to spot hostiles, provided you are confident you have AWACS support and coverage of the target. ED couldn't give me an answer about pending changes to this specifically, but were kind enough to provide me with information about other aspects already mentioned throughout the video. It's worth mentioning that the towed heat blur currently uses on the Tomcat is different to that of the Hornet, and will be merged with Eagle Dynamics towed from the Hornet sometime soon, giving them both identical performance. Towds are adding a whole new dynamic to air and ground attack missions, such that it's a pity we don't actually have any RID4 equivalents. So next time you see a steady radar contact, take a moment to consider if you are being decoyed. I hope you've enjoyed, and take care.